Welcome to this month's Solid Edge blog article. Today we'll be looking at the Solid Edge Design Manager. First, let's discuss data management for a second. Document relationships management is a complex information management problem facing businesses and industries. As more information is being shared and reused between documents, Tracking revision of documents and the links they contain becomes increasingly difficult. Making a new revision of an existing document while maintaining the original version is part of every document's life cycle. For companies with multiple users, Siemens offers TeamCenter, the industry-leading lifecycle management PLM system. For single users, Solid Edge has the built-in Design Manager module to assist with data management. You can use Design Manager to save documents under a new name, move documents to locations you specify, revise documents, apply documents data sys, update the revision and document numbers you specify, Update or maintain references in the document hierarchy. Manage your custom file properties. Copy a row or rows of data to the clipboard for printing and preview a document. The typical design manager workflow is open the part or assembly of interest. Find all the drawings associated with the documents of interest by performing a where you search. Move the part or assembly to a new location. Revise the part or assembly. Perform any other actions as needed and apply the changes. Release the part or assembly to protect it from unauthorized changes. To start Design Manager, you can do the independent start of Solid Edge and you can choose Start. Siemens Solid Edge 2021 Design Manager from your Start Program list, or in Windows Explorer, right click on the Solid Edge file and then choose Open with Design Manager. Now, although you can do this independently of Solid Edge, you do have to have Solid Edge installed on this computer. From within Solid Edge, you can choose the Data Management tab and launch the Design Manager. Let's have a look at this in Solid Edge. In this demo, I'll walk through a typical workflow when you get a revision from a customer. So we want to open Design Manager. Now there's three ways you can do that. You can, if you already know the top level assembly, you can right click to this in the Explorer window and go open with Design Manager. You can bring up your Start Programs menu, scroll down to Siemens Solid Edge 2021 or whatever release you're working in and go down to Design Manager, launch it from here and then browse for that document. The more regular approach that I find in the industry is that you're going to open up the part because you want to verify that this is the actual part. If it's set up to be read only, that's fine because we're going to create a duplicate of this anyway to do the work in. We want to keep the original assembly as it is. So we go to data management tab and select design manager. Now this will close solid edge and open up the design manager. You'll notice you have a list of all your components here. You may have some sub assemblies so we can say expand all to see everything. Now at this point, I'm gonna go select all and I'm going to do a where used. And I'm going to, let's just remove all for now. I'm gonna go down to my release documents folder and I'll add that to here. And I'm going to browse for any draft documents that I may have with this and I'll say next. It's found three draft documents for me. So that's good, I'll say finish. You can expand this right out if you wish. 
I'm then going to say select all files again and it grabs all the files including the draft files that I just found I'm going to do a save as and then I'm going to modify or edit the path where they're being saved and this will bring up this window here and allow me to browse to where I want to save these so I have a folder set up here called work in progress and I'm going to save it to there I'm going to say OK to this notice it changes it here and notice these are all dash B so I want to increment this now they're all dash C so I've got everything previewed here I've got all my old files all the names of the new ones and the location for the new one once I'm satisfied I hit perform action very quickly this has moved all these over into the new directory given it a new name and updated all my internal links so I can then exit out of here I'll then browse to where my documents have been saved to, my in progress folder. And I'll open this in Solid Edge. And then I'll go about making my modification. Now, this example. The customer wants a one millimeter gasket placed in there. So I'm first going to offset my assembly relationships here. And leave room for the gasket. I'm going to edit into here because this is where the sub assembly that I want the gasket to be placed in. And then I'm going to create in place. And I'll use um, coincident with here is fine. I'll say OK to this. Make sure it's a correct template. And we're going to call this gasket. And I'll say save. Now at this point, I'm going to do a interpart copy. I want to interpart copy this face. And then I'll hide the underlying components. And I'll use the thicken command create this one millimeter thicker in this direction and I can do additional work for example maybe I want to part paint this let's make this black and we'll save this close and return This now resides in that assembly, so I can now close and return that. And because I put it into the subassembly, it shows up over here. On this set example, we renamed all of the components to C. And perhaps the customer wants us to go in and change material. So we can do that in the data management tab under property manager. If you do not see the material here, just right click on one of the columns, go to columns and turn on material. And then you can go through and change material. Um, you know, for example, maybe they want this all to be uh, brass or some other material. If you don't see the material there, you can go to the material table and select the material from your material table. Now I'm not going to go through and con 
change all the material. I just want you to know that it can be done. If not, the part's not changing, you don't have to give it the dash C. Obviously, you can leave it at a dash B, the original revision. But I wanted to show you how you could clone an entire assembly. Now, because I'm in here, I would want to check my drafts, make sure they're updated. I happen to know that I have an exploded view in here. Now, to speed this process up, I've already updated the exploded view. I'll just go show you what I did here. And all I did is I went in, I turned on the gasket and made sure it was exploded. So I did that previously. Save you the time of having to watch me do that. So next I would go in and I would open up my draft files. We'll start with the main one here. Notice it's telling me it's out of date. I'm just going to quickly turn off my dimension tracker here. I don't want this to, because it's an exploded view. And then I'll hit update views. Notice it's put in the gaskets and added it to the list. So I can save that. Next, I'm going to open... Now the top cap should not be modified at all. So that comes in and I just have to do an update because I revived it. We'll save that. And then the end cap drawing view. And we'll say open. And we'll update. And notice the gasket has been added, so we'll save that. So there's our updates all done. Now, if this goes through a design review process and comes back OK, I can go in and virtually repeat that performance that I did earlier, where I could go in and open this up in the Design Manager. I'm going to expand all, select all. I'm going to do a where used. This time in progress, I'll look for my draft files again. I'll say next. There's my three draft files. I'm just going to move this down a little bit so I can see all my files. Now at this point, I'm going to move all. And where do I want to move it? I want to move it to my released, in this case, components. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to change my draft here. I'm going to select the three drafts. And I'm going to move those into the draft documents. Now again, assuming that all the criteria have been met from my company in terms of creating these as release documents, once those are all met, I can do this. And then I'm just going to hit perform action. And this is going to transfer all these documents into my release folder. And it's going to put the component documents into the component folder, the draft documents into the draft folder, and update all the internal links. Now, this will take a few seconds to run. And just so you're aware, I'm running on an old laptop. It's about six years old, and it's using a Core i7 processor. So this will be a little quicker on the newer desktops. I'll just let this run in real time so you can see how long it really takes.
and there we're finished so we can actually close this now let's go into our in progress folder and you can see that all the files have been moved from there let's go into our release folder under the components we have all our C and B files are in there and let's go into our draft documents and there's our draft document and just to verify if I double click on this draft document to open it up in solid edge and you can see that it's up to date and we haven't lost any links it's still pointing back to the assembly file in a different folder getting help to learn more about design manager you can view the help documents by pressing F1 in the design manager application click the help button available in most dialog boxes or click the help button in the upper right corner of the application window. You can also contact the Design Fusion Technical Support Line at 1-877-215-1883 or email us at support at designfusion.com. Now, if you need a more powerful data management tool, for example, you're dealing with multiple users, Team Center software is a modern, adaptable product lifecycle management PLM system that connects people and processes across functional silos with a digital thread for innovation. Team Center has the flexibility to adapt to business changes and manage all of the challenges of product development. If you need more powerful data management tools, contact your account manager and ask to see a demonstration on how Solid Edge works with Team Center. You can also contact 1-888-567-3933 or visit www.designfusion.com. I hope this blog has been informative and thank you for taking the time to view it.